Hey, this is Dil Krom and Hi. Stefan Brackman. Yeah, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> From Quality Beast, you probably know us by now. We're at the UK Games Expo and behind us, you can see we're showing two prototypes of Towers of the Sun, yeah. Stefan's first game. We're really excited. So we just wanted to talk with you a bit and give an update where you are. So, okay, tell us, base game, how's day mode going? Day mode is basically done. I'm, I've played it a lot of times in Spiel and after that in the game test evenings by uh, game test evenings by subcultures on the Monday evenings in Utrecht. Yeah, it's been very successful so far. A lot of players have come here and said, "Oh, can I buy it already? Uh, when is it coming on Kickstarter?" That's really successful. The table's been crowded ever, forever. Now we had good demos in uh, in Tokyo. Oh yeah, at the Tokyo Game Market too. I, I couldn't come. Still, next year, well. next year, next year. But on the other side of the board, there's a night version. Yeah. So what's up with night version? Well, the night version is in development. Okay, okay. I wanted to have this, like the day version is very thinky in a way that you can, you know what's out there and how things are developing. But I want the night version to be more aggressive and more risky. A gain all, gain or lose all kind of okay, okay. strategy, and I've managed to make that work, but I need to test it more to be able to say that it's fully developed. Cool. Okay, and the game used to go up to four players. Yes. But actually, we're working on a five-six player expansion. Yes. Where's that at now? The five-six players expansion, I've tested several times. The the main thing is that it works really well. I mean, the board works really well for the five-six player version. Right, I've right. come to a really nice solution and. Kun de Graaf, the artist of Towers of the Sun, which I'm super proud of, really managed to capture the beauty of the board and the graphics in the five and six player board. That's beautifully done. Sweet. Um, however, because it can be a bit thinky, there's some downtime. I, I know a lot of people are not that uh, keen on having a lot of downtime in five or six player versions. Right. I mean, if you play Seven Wonders, there's no downtime at all. Um, so obviously, that's not going to happen. Tweaks for this, yeah. or something to help. Yeah, I'm, I'm really that. working on um, how to increase the player interaction and the dynamics with the five and six player uh, version to make it more interesting for people also to see what's happening in the game when they're not when it's not their turn. And the five and six player mode, we have art for the five definitely, and six definitely. player clans I'm, as well. I'm super stoked about that because for me, the most fun part of the game is to have all these different characters. You can really see how they come to life with the artwork that Kuhn and Vincent made together. Right. Uh, Vincent Wilders, who is our artist, who also did a lot of the uh, character design. Yeah, I'm super happy to have the five or six player artwork done. And so you it's not just that, it's also the board art got yeah, updated. Yeah, the board, yeah, exactly. And the cards got updated with iconography. Yeah, and the player we have aids. The, the rough draft of the player aids, yeah. double-sided player aids. As and well. they work really well. Right. Yeah, the, the iconography of that is just really clear and people understand it way better than when I tested it in Spiel. I get all the questions every time and I managed to fix that problem. I never get the same questions asked again. Yeah, it's almost. the first time that we're showing yeah. you the player aids. Yeah. So. Okay, and then there's one more exciting piece coming and that's co-op mode. Yes. Which Rado loved when he visited us yesterday. Obviously, co-op. <laughs> it's really cool. So tell us about co-op mode. Where are you with that? Um, it's still in development. Okay. However, the core mechanics, I've, I've played it. I've tested it myself. I've tested it with some other people. Right, right, right. right. It's super exciting, but it's very brutal. It's, okay, it's, sneak preview. What's the, th what's the theme of co-op mode? How's it work okay. different? Co-op mode is the mist theme. So right. in, the, the, in the Towers of the Sun story, the mist is covering the world. Um, mist also representing a pollution. So it's very dangerous. At night, monsters lurk in the mist as well. Okay. So in the co-op mode, the monsters actually come to the board. Okay, and you have okay. to battle the and monsters. The players are going against them. Exactly. And the monsters are from different regions, right? And each monster comes from a different region, so only you, you can only attack the monsters that are from your region, or yeah. you can attack them, and you can only kill them only if they're from your region. Exactly, yeah. because you have the knowledge in the background and know how to how to defeat that particular monster. So we're really excited because this is three boxes, right? This is a base game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, yeah. six player expansion and a co-op mode. Exactly. That will all go to Kickstarter. Yes. Now, two things about that. One is this is a pretty complex board now. 
night yeah. and day mode, yeah. different tower arrangements yeah. for different players, as well as a mist mode. Definitely. So we're really excited to share our new beautiful prototype, which is a modular board. Yeah, I have to give credit to you though. Well, <laughs> hey, you're the designer. True. I do my part. Yeah. This modular board will let you assemble things based on the different parts of the different games. Definitely. We're talking with manufacturers right now to see what we can do. And of course, there'll be some stretch goals in the crowdfunding. We have some interaction here happening with the cameras, you can see. It's super busy here at the UK it Games, Games Expo. Packed. It's like crazy. Always back. Yeah. And about the Kickstarter campaign, right now, we're not going to announce a date. Nah. We're going to take it nice and easy, let development get finished. But we're aiming at something early next year. So we'll let you know more. Hopefully, we'll be announcing a date either at Berlin Brechtville Con or, or Spiel. Spiel. So if you're at either of those events, we're going to be there. And also, a special event in your homeland. Duco Sim. Right, at the end yeah, of the month, right? Definitely, yeah. So if you're in the Netherlands, come see us there. Let's play some Towers of the Sun, yeah, right? That's in Utrecht, actually. So it's the first Deco Sim that's not in Amersfoort, but it's in my hometown, Utrecht. So I'm really proud to be, to be there in my hometown representing Quality Beast with Towers of the Sun. And maybe we'll be showing off a surprise. Mm. Maybe. Well, that's it from us today. Catch you later. Still on us different from Peace out. Quality Beast, we out.